Okay, so the first half we'll talk about gates. Um, as you know, we have AND gate. We talked about OR gate. So AND gate was just two switches in series. <coughs> So if one of these switch, switches are open, I don't have current going through, right? So that's the only case, that's the case that I, my output will be, I won't basically have any output. So I have two inputs, A, B, out, output. <coughs> so when I have two inputs, how many combinations I have for my inputs that I can have? Four. four. Because two inputs, two power of two is four. So I can have zero, 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 one, one, zero, one. Whenever one of my switches, when one of them is off or open, then I don't have any output, so my output will be zero. When both of them are closed, then I have electrons going through these two switches. I have an output. For example, if there is a lamp that is connected to these switches, then it will be on for one and non one. The way to remember the table for AND gate, just multiply. Zero times zero is zero, zero times one, zero, and so on. <laughs> so the only case I have an output is when I close two switches that means I'm applying voltages to my transistor. As you know, these switches are transistors. In that case, my, I have an output, so my output is one. So that's AND gate. This is called truth table. This is the symbol for an AND gate. The Boolean expression for AND gate is A dot B. It's not multiplication, it's AND. Any questions so far? Okay, the second gate is OR gate. It looks like an arrow. So OR gate consists of two switches that are in series. So if I have a battery here, these two switches are in series. Um, so if this is A, this is B, this is my input, this is my output. Let's say there's a lamp here. And there's a battery here. This is a symbol for DC battery. So, whenever I close one of these switches, my electrons can go through and the lamp will be on, right? So if A or B are closed, I have an output which is one. And these switches are transistors as you know, so one in other words is voltage. So if I apply the voltage, my switch will be closed and then I have electricity in this closed loop, my lamp will be on, that means my output is one. So if this is A, this is B, and A, B, output, then zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. I always have current going through when I have one of the switches closed or both of them. When both of them are open, zero, zero, then my output would be zero. So this is the true table for OR gate. What is the Boolean expression for OR gate? A plus. So whenever you see A plus B, that means you have an OR gate. Okay. Now, that's AND OR, then I can have NAND. When you see a bubble in front of your gate, that makes it NOT, which is the opposite. So when you have NOT AND NOT, or AND NOT gate, 
for 90 days. The table will be, the output will be the opposite of what you had for n. So that will make it 1, 1, 1, 0. What is the Boolean expression for NAN? So you just put a bar on top. That's it. So again, be careful. It's not A bar dot B bar. It's A dot B bar. That's NAN. Nice. OK. What about NOR gate? Again, when you make it NOR, that means your output is the opposite of so one, zero, zero, zero. And the Boolean expression, just put a bar on. So, so far we covered and, or, nan, nor. Any questions? Okay. What is left is exclusive or and exclusive nor. Exclusive OR gate. So exclusive OR gate looks like an OR gate, it just has another line. So we talk about the one that has two inputs. And this is your output. The project you did in class was the combination lock. Right? So just having that in mind would help you to remember the output. Because we used it as a combination lock and we said whenever A and B are the same, what happened? What's my output? When A and B are both zero or both one, what was the output? One. What are you talking about, both of them zero? Yes. If when both of them... If zero, 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 if it's one, one, it's zero. When your two inputs are zero? If, if two inputs are zero or two... Yes. In other words, if both of the inputs are the same. Remember for combination log, we used it to check if this is... It's like a comparator, right? You're comparing A and B. If they are the same, my output would be... Remember, we connect it to the short leg of LED. Short leg is negative. Okay, if that doesn't help you, exclusive or is an OR gate excluding one and one. So what is zero, zero for OR gate? Zero. Zero, one. One, one. One, zero. One, one. Zero, zero. Okay, so whenever these two are the same, I always get zero at the output. So I can use it as a comparator because whenever my two inputs are the same, I get a low at the output. That's what we use in our uh, project. And that's a good way, I think, to remember uh, the output of exclusive OR. What is the Boolean expression for exclusive OR? Yeah. Okay. And the last gate is exclusive nor. Which is or basically how do you, if this is a symbol for exclusive or what is the symbol for exclusive nor? You just put a bubble. Uh, for the symbol. Not pull the answer. For the symbol, you just put, if I put a bubble here, that means it's exclusive nor. Because this is or, that's nor. So if this is A, B output, my truth table My 
output is the opposite of whatever I have for exclusive or, right? Mm -hmm. So if I have zero, one, one, zero, then I have one, zero, zero. So this can be used as a comparator as well, right? Whenever I have zero, zero, and one, one, I get a heart. So both of them can be used to compare to <coughs> inputs. What is the what is the Boolean expression for this? A circle plus B with a one A, right? Exactly. So you just put a bar on. Because of this guy, because of the bubble. Whenever you see a bubble, there is a bar on top. This is a Boolean expression. That's all the gates you should know. <coughs> 